top of the finest of the finer mornings to you. Oh, that was a bump I wasn't expecting. All right. Starting our day off at good old Timmy Ho's. Got all my stuff in here. Getting ready to hit the road on our first trip on e-logs. Gonna log into the e-log network for the first time in about an hour. This is a historic moment for me. I put it off as long as I could. I guess I could have put it off till January 1st. That's when the law says you have to have it. But I don't want to be there with everyone else in the class. I wanted to learn it on my own one-on-one. -on -one. So I did it a bit early. Got to order my Timmy's. Hi. Hi there, may I take your order, please? Can I have a large coffee with three cream and a shot of espresso in it? Okay. Can I get yeah. it? And a farmer's wrap. That was bacon and sausage. Sausage, please. Anything else for you today? That's it. It's going to be 7.30 at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. Super duper. Close that window so Diesel doesn't stick his head out there. I usually go inside when I order food. It's not that nice to order food and hold up the line, but there's nobody behind me. Breaking my own rule. So yeah, e-logs today. Um, I'm not too scared about it, but if I, if I got trained now, I could have one-on-one -on -one training and it wouldn't be half as hard and, and if I had questions I can ask them right away, right? So I did it now. Whatever. Whatever's gotta happen sooner or later anyway. Hi there, 730 Hi. please. Hi Debit. Sure. Hey Diesel, look what you got. Look what you got. <laughs> he knows every time I come to Tim Hortons already yeah. he gets all excited. <laughs> there you are. Have a great day. You too, thanks. Thank you. Diesel, you got a Timbit, man. You got a Timbit. Whoa, stuff's falling all over the place here. Oh man, I got way too much stuff in this truck, man. Way too much stuff. Way too much stuff. We're gonna go park over here. I'm gonna park over here and figure this stuff out. You know, if I move to America, which I would love to do, because I love America. Uh, if I did move there, the one thing I would miss the most depending on what area I live in, is Tim Hortons. Some areas of the states have Tim Hortons, but it's mostly the northern states, right? Close to Canada to keep us Canadians happy when we come visit. I want to move south. If I'm going to go to the states, you think I'm just going to dip my toe in the water? I'm going to jump full on in the deep end and go all the way south. No more snow for this guy. South, palm trees, nice weather, biscuits and gravy. He picked up all the beer cans off his dick. There we go. It's official. Well, I've got to get completely settled in here yet. All moved in, and then they have to come and uh, activate my e logs so that it's officially official. Because it's official, but it's not officially official. I can't leave the yard yet until they come and do something. I gotta push a few buttons. I don't know. E logs. And we're off! The E log counter clock has started counting down. Like a little time bomb until I have to pull over. I have 12 hours and 58 minutes available for me to drive here in Canada. As soon as I cross into the States, my e-log system will switch over to American hours of service. I have to manually switch it at the border. I sort of wish it would automatically do that, but I guess that's asking too much. Looks like it'll be all right. I'll, I'll figure it out, you know? I'll figure it out. Just arrived here to the United States border station at Pembina, North Dakota. Leaving from Emerson, Manitoba, Canada. Seems like a pretty busy day to be crossing the border. Got my e-log clock counting down here until I need to stop for my half hour break. When I'm in the States, it tells me when I have to stop for that break. In Canada, I can drive 13 hours straight right through if I want to. If I can hold my bladder legally, I can go right through 13 hours. 
but in the states I can only be on duty whether I'm driving or on duty not driving for eight consecutive hours before I need to stop for a half hour break it's a little more complicated and they like to mess around with your schedule and your life a little bit more in the states the little uh, actually I shouldn't say a little more there's a lot more regulations in the states so it's, it's a lot more difficult to make money in trucking because of the regulations in the United States and it's easier to make money in Canada but uh, so far so good the e-logs are doing all right for me I'm not too threatened by it yet I don't know if I ever will be I mean as long as you follow the law you got nothing to worry about right the only people who are worried about this are the hardcore cowboy truckers who are the outlaws of the road who don't want to follow the law who think that they're better than everyone else it really irritates me when I meet these truckers who openly brag to their fellow drivers and to anyone who will listen about how they cheat their logbooks and about how oh we drive you know non-stop for days and they tell it like it's something to be proud of makes me so much makes my blood boil and then they get mad when there's all these other drivers on the highway who are you know either falling asleep or driving unsafe or driving too tired or being a danger on the road and I'm looking at them being like you're the main one who's a danger on the road you think that because you must have some superhuman powers that it's okay if you break the law it's okay if you drive for days and days on end and don't care about regulations because you know you're a big time trucker super trucker oh that makes me mad when i hear that it's just like i almost start shaking and i just i usually just walk away because these regulations are in place for a reason okay and these e-logs are in place now for a reason they're there to catch those people who are the outlaw cowboy truckers who are putting all of us on the road in danger by disregarding the safety of myself, my family, all the families and little children and the vehicles on the road around them. It's like they don't even care about their safety because they, they think that they can do it. Well, I'm telling you something. You know what? We're all human. We're all human. We can all make mistakes. Don't increase your chances of making a mistake. Just follow the law. If you can't make money in trucking by following the law, you're doing it wrong. Because I'm doing just fine. I'm living proof of that. Now, I've got my worries about e-logs, but they revolve sort of around, what if I run out of hours waiting for someone to unload me, and then when they're done unloading, they refuse me the ability to park on their yard and wait for my logbook to become illegal to leave. So, uh, you know, those are the kind of things I worry about. And... Uh, little things like that but when I hear of drivers talk about e-logs like they are the you know end of the world they are the apocalypse everyone's like you'll never make any money that's the key phrase that I that that if I hear any trucker saying you'll I guess you're not gonna be making any more money on e-logs I look at them and I think wait a second what do you mean I won't be making any more money if you're obeying the law on paper logs, going onto e-logs, you'll make no less. So if they think I'm gonna lose money, I'm curious to look at their log books. I'm curious. Why do you think people won't make money on e-logs? That makes me suspicious of you, you know? You must cheat your log book quite a bit. Anyways, I'm next through here. I'll see you on the other side. Merkham, North Dakota. North Dakota. Just stopping in here at the gas tracks. First truck stop into the country for a good old cup of coffee. I can't wait till I get to Pilot Flying J in Grand Forks. Probably gonna stop there anyway for fuel, but I can't wait. I need some liquid life right now. Well, it's not the best coffee, but it does the job. It's definitely not the best donut either, but. Man, I had a sugar craving. What kind of coffee we got here? Farmer Brothers in North Dakota. Go figure. Farmer Brothers coffee. I'm gonna drink some farmer coffee today. Ten four. We're on. Okay, we're on e-logs. Let's get going.
south end of Minneapolis here. Very nice, very impressive. Traffic is moving well, that's nice. Should be, it's 10 o'clock. My e-log is working nice. I'm, we're, 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 we're becoming friends. I'm sure it'll take a few days, maybe a few weeks, I don't know. We're becoming friends, we're putting up with each other. Knowing that we have to live together for the rest of my life right now on the road. We'll put up with each other. It's actually not that bad. So far, my first day, I'll give you a little rundown of it when I stop. So far, in one point, hasn't bothered me. Take exit 5B on right to I 35W South. Mandy bothers me more than my e log. She keeps interrupting me. Such a chatty woman. Well, well, Diesel. What a day. We made it through our first day on e-logs, and I think I figured it out. It took me a few minutes to figure out or remember how to do the post trip or input the pro post trip. Let's reword that. I know how to do a po post trip and a pre-trip. Now I'm getting my words mixed up. I know how to do a post trip. I just had to remember how to tell that thing that I knew how to do a post trip, that I did it. So that's all in there now. I'm in sleeper berth, even though I'm in the cab, not in the sleeper berth yet. Shh. We're going right back there right away. She doesn't know. <laughs> Look at these. Like, Ooh, who are you talking about, man? <laughs> How about the drone? Hey, we brought the drone with and the extra parts. I still need to uh, work on that thing a little bit before we can use it, but I did bring it along so that we can get that done. Diesel. You've been a star today. A star. Come on, man. Stop looking so sad. Smile. Just a little bit. What if there's another dog outside? If there was another dog, would you smile? No? Not tonight? It's not your night? Alright then. So I'm here at the Loves. In Albert Lee, Minnesota. And I'm gonna be crawling right back there into the bunk right away, going straight to sleep and uh, making sure that I'm nice and rested because once my 10 hours are up, this little girl right here is gonna tell me that, hey, where's she? Hey, it's time to get up and time to go. Too bad she doesn't have an alarm, huh? Eh? Imagine you could set, set an alarm for like half an hour before your 10 hours are up so you could wake up, you know, stretch, wake yourself up. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, Diesel. My thoughts on the e log. I'm not gonna change anything about how I do things or how fast I get places. Like I said, it's just little things that I worry about, you know. Like if I'm at the end of my day, my uh, full hours for the day, like 14 hour day here in the States or 16 hours in Canada, and let's say you get to your customer and they take six hours to unload you, well now you're out of hours and you can't move. I'm worried that uh, I'd be stuck there then, and then they wouldn't allow me to sleep on their property. Then you gotta call into dispatch and be like, hey, I'm in a pickle. Fix it. But overall, it's a good system, and I believe in it, and I think it's going to make the roads safer. It's a touchy topic in trucking today. But you will notice that the vast majority of people that are against e-logs are the drivers who like to drive. Was I covering the mic that whole time? No, I don't think I was. You will realize that the vast majority of drivers that don't like and speak negatively about these e-logs are the drivers that are not even on the e-logs. And they're the ones that are the cowboy truckers who like to drive, you know, days at a time and blatantly break the laws of the country. Now, as much as I disagree with some of the laws of the country, I believe that they should all be enforced. Even the ones I don't quite agree with. As long as they're not oppressing anybody, it should be, it should be enforced. That's why they're there. <coughs> See, my cough has been getting a lot better, so that's good. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny talking to some people, because a lot of people have big opinions about well, this, this election is coming, it's just around the corner. And they want certain laws enforced. They think that they're the laws, 
and they should be enforced, and I couldn't agree with them more. But then when it comes to enforcing government regulations on their logbook, suddenly they're not so keen on enforcing those laws. You know what I mean? So it's depending on who you talk to. I've, I've talked to all kinds of drivers. Uh, drivers that brag about breaking the law and uh, disregarding their regulations and running way over their hours. I've talked to drivers that really, really like e-logs that do everything by the book and when they went from paper to e-logs, nothing really changed for them. I've talked to drivers that think that trucking is just no money to be made in it. That's just a terrible income. And I've talked to drivers that enjoy what they do and think they're and believe they're making a really good income. I sort of fall into the category where I'm happy with the income I'm making in in, in trucking. I'm really happy with it. Uh, as long as you work for a good company, you can make a good penny driving a truck. Don't listen to those negative people out there, those negative, negative people that keep saying there's no money in trucking anymore. I don't know. They're doing it wrong then. And they keep saying, well, if, if you have to follow the law and you have to follow government regulations, you'll never make money. You're doing it wrong then. If you can't make money following the law, you're doing it wrong because I follow the law and I'm doing just fine. Doing better than fine. I'm actually ahead. Where's all your money going? What are you spending it on? You gotta look at your spending habits, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to judge you. I don't know you. Maybe you legitimately are making less money than me at the company you're at. Maybe you need to change companies. I don't know. I can't judge everyone's situation. I can just only speak for myself. And that's all this vlog is. That's all these videos are. Is It's my opinion on experiences that I experience in my own life. I don't mean to make any vast assumptions or, you know, group everybody into the same group at all. I don't ever mean to make myself sound like that, though I'm sure I come off that way sometimes. I'm a very assertive talker and I speak with confidence and I, I always try to sound like I know what I'm talking about, uh, even when I sometimes uh, learn that I'm wrong. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong which I think is very important for anyone. Especially kids growing up, you need to learn how to admit when you're wrong and still be a man about it. Being a man doesn't mean that you're right all the time. It means that you try your best to be right all the time. But when you're wrong, you can still hold your head high and be like, oh cool, guess I learned something. I'll know better for next time, you know? I don't know where I'm going with this talk. You like my new shirt though? I got these for uh, the driver's lounge filming. I can't wait for that to come out. Uh, I've told you all about it already, right? I'm gonna tell you again like probably every day because I'm really excited about it. Uh, Transportation Nation Network. I'm on the driver's lounge, which is a show on that network. There's also other shows that are coming out on that network like Truckerville and a couple of other shows all being released January 1st, 2017. I'll have all the links in my description when they get released. So maybe not on this one, but you can definitely go onto Facebook and find them. I share most of their stuff on my Twitter and my Facebook, so you should be able to find them on my page very easily. Go and give their page a like, the Transportation Nation Network uh, and the Driver's Lounge. Uh, get to know the cast. It's a really good group of people that are on the Driver's Lounge there and whatnot, and people producing the show, really good people. You're gonna love it because it's entertainment for truckers, by truckers. That makes sense? It's all for you, the truckers. Great truck and entertainment. It's gonna be fun. I'm going to bed now though. My throat's, <coughs> oh, there it comes. Look at this, my throat's getting scratchy again. I'm gonna have to cough soon. Okay, it's bedtime. I'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button somewhere around the screen there so you can subscribe to the channel, join the TJV crew and you won't miss a single vlog. If you wanna be involved in our monthly silent auction giveaways, the Patreon link is down below in the description. I think that's the only thing I have to tell you guys. You guys can go down below to the description, all kinds of links down there if you wanna learn more about me. Follow me, be my friend. There's no link there to punch me in the face though. So if you wanna punch me in the face, you're gonna to have to catch me first. <laughs>